Boy, does somebody think that you are slipping through their fingers, Aquarius, or cross watcher. Unless this whole message is reversed, I definitely get that there's some like, I'm running out of time or things are about to end or the door's about to close. You know what I see like a garage door closing and someone's trying to run and make it under that garage door before it closes all the way. But somebody on the inside's already hit the button and the door's going down and the door's going down and the door's going down and down and down. And the person on the inside is not even trying to stop it because the person on the inside is like, look, I've given you plenty of time. I gave you plenty of opportunities. I, I left the door open and you just, you, you took your time. You kept your sweet ass in that street over there. I don't know. So I'm, I'm going to close the garage door. That's what I'm seeing. Imagine someone in a garage closing the door and they see somebody on the outside and they're running. Okay, this is what I get. Now, let me give examples here because we're all in different timelines. Let's say some of you have already moved on from someone. Let's say, I don't know if it's an ex, I don't know if you were, you were even with this person, I don't know if they just drug their feet or if it ended poorly or there was a breakup or divorce already. I don't know how you knew someone. I'm just gonna give a couple examples. But let's say you've already moved on, like you're already in a whole ass another relationship. You could already be married to someone else now. Or no, 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 maybe you're not. Maybe you're planning on getting married or you're planning on having a baby or planning on having another baby, whatever it is. Somebody has gotten wind of something, whether you've posted it, whether you've said it yourself, um, whether it's they heard it through the grapevine anyway, and they're like, oh my God, like now it's become a reality. It's like finally setting in or yeah, it's like setting in that, oh shit, their opportunity is closing or something. Let's say somebody liked you at work and then they find out that you get moved to a whole different department or you're, um, like maybe you're gonna be having to move. This is, a, remember guys, these examples don't have to be the exact scenarios. Just kind of place it where it fits and fit it in your situation. Something to do with like, maybe you worked with someone or y'all met, like, you know, and they thought that they had plenty of time or maybe somebody had a crush on you somewhere, not had, currently does, I'm hearing, currently has feelings for you somewhere. And they should have spoken up before now, like they should have said something, but something's happened to where, or it will, it hasn't happened yet. Something is going to, or already is, or has in the past happened to where it's going to like almost, there will only be a short window before the two of you. It's like, you're gone. You're gone, you're taken, you're fully spoken for, you're fully moved your heart shut off, like whatever it is, you know? Maybe you put it out there that you wanted to start dating again and somebody thought, oh, they'll be single forever. They'll be single a while. They said they're not interested, but you know, it just takes that right person to come into your life. And let's say you happen to meet the right person who is available, who isn't standing in the street, just kind of not really caring that you're holding the door open for them. You know what I mean? Like not even trying. If they were interested, they would come in the garage door, but they're just not. So you're like, okay, well, that's fine. I'm, I've got to move forward. And maybe they didn't expect this. Like there's something in your life, either you've done, you're currently doing, or you're about to do to where it's going to solidify something. Or maybe it's happening to them. Maybe it's happening to another person to where they liked you or they were like, oh, I've got plenty of time. But then they tell you like they're going to be having to change something in their life or in their schedule or they're changing something. And and you may be like, well, it was a pleasure doing business with you or it was, pleasure, it was a pleasure meeting you. It was nice to meet you. It was nice to know you. Although inside you hate it because, you know, you maybe feel a little something, something too. But then you're like, well, there's nothing I can do about it. You know, what do you want me to do? This person hasn't said anything to me. They haven't told me how they felt. Like, I'm just kind of over here. I'm thinking I'm feeling things. I'm thinking I'm picking up on vibes they're sending my way. But how do I know at the end of the day unless they actually say anything? And I mean, if they're going to up and move or up and leave or I'm not even going to see them anymore, then what's the point? I'm not going to just up and ask them. So, okay. You know, so instead of like, I don't know, maybe it's the way you handle a situation and not you yourself that's changing something, becoming more solid in something or giving your attention elsewhere, opening your heart elsewhere, holding the door for someone else open to come into your life. Maybe it's that someone tells you something's gonna happen with them and it's your reaction to that that causes them to be like, wait, what? You know? Maybe they're trying to hold the door open for you. Vice versa, somebody could be trying to hold the door open for you and you're like, what? 
okay let me give let me give that example because that's a whole different that's a whole different way to see this let's say you and another person did work for each other with each other somehow i don't know let's say it was a seasonal thing or a yearly thing and things i could think like that or anything lawn care anything like schooling because it has seasons right seasons where it's out seasons where it's in could be sports <clears throat> let's say one person was married it's just the first thing popping off my head and vice versa and they liked you but they never really told you but you were like feeling something you're like picking up on some thingy things you know you're like am i picking up on some things here and you're like yeah you're picking up some things and <laughs> and so something happens and the end of the season is nearing and so this person reaches out to you to let you know in some way whether they do it in person online message email something and it's their roundabout way without just coming out and saying it because they don't want to like bury themselves dig themselves into a hole they're like hey doors open if you ever need me i'm here and you're like great all right well thank you so much i will maybe see you next season or maybe not well, it was nice knowing you, you know, it's something like that. Cause I mean, you're not gonna say nothing that's gonna incriminate you. You're not about to try to make a move where you're gonna be inappropriate with somebody who's taken. Like you're not gonna do anything like that. So therefore, um, maybe it's got them squirming kind of like, oh no, like wait, 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 because they can't really say anything. They can't say anything more than that. They were hoping that you would take the bait. They were hoping that you would be like, Oh, okay so you mean I can like reach out to you anytime because they don't want to be the one to do it because they don't want to get in trouble but they know that you can because you're the single one do you see what I'm saying that's very specific <laughs> now some of you could actually if you've been having any issues with a current person you could stay together but I feel like or maybe make it work out or even get back with an ex vice versa but they would have to like straighten that shit up or do something you know what I'm saying like to show you that they're serious or I get the vibe of like they would have to prove it somebody would have to continue to prove it if they already are or they would have to prove it to keep you with them um, to make things work or to rekindle something that's for another group of you guys but the largest group of you I feel like somebody here is single and you're either dealing with uh, someone who's trying to let, let you know the doors open for them for you you know because they don't want to lose that contact. They don't want to lose the connection with you. They want it to keep growing, but they, they are limited on what they can say to you because they have to be one professional for some or two because they're taken. So they kind of want to see if you get pick it, if you're picking up what they're putting down, if you get what they meant by what they said. And you're like, yeah, I get it, but I'm not gonna do nothing. Like you gonna have to fix your situation over there, you know, or maybe someone, maybe they're not with anyone, but they're just being professional and it's like, look, I can go to a different company you know what I mean like I can go to a different company and we can keep this going but I'm not going to like just be like oh I'm picking up on your vibes like no you're gonna have to come right out and tell me or goodbye like it, it that's just it is what it is you know if it has nothing to do with anything like that you could be holding the door open for someone or you have been and um, you thought by now that they would have just made more of a move or something shown a little bit more something before now you know and so since they haven't you're like well adios you know doors going down going down and I hear them like and they're just like rolling under the door because they're like don't close the door on me darling and you're like boy you better you almost cut a leg off trying to roll under that. <laughs> like, I don't think somebody's gonna let you go that easy. I really don't. I don't think someone's gonna let you go that easy. Now, I mean, even if they're not supposed to do something, even if they have to sneak around, which I'm not saying is right, but I, I just, I don't know. I just don't believe it. I don't believe in this message at all that anyone's gonna let you go easy. They'll squeeze themselves through that tiny little crevice before that door closes you know what I mean like they're not gonna just they're not gonna let you lock them out if it's just on the number six or something to do with six six days six weeks six hours six months six meetings six times six conversations six texts on the sixth maybe even 15 
There's a six. I just saw six seconds on my fucking timer. Something about six, guys. Six, or again, like I said, something about 15 or the number 15. Or Anyway, let me get off that. What was I saying? They don't want the door to close. They don't want things to end. They don't want to lose connection. They don't want to lose the... Uh, they don't want it to get shut off or closed down or... Like, they don't want it to end. They don't want there to be... Like this, they don't want this to be it. I'm sorry. I know I'm stuttering, but it's because I really honestly don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. And I think that's this person. They don't know what to say either. And they, they, they're, they've been stressed as fuck. Even if they're not showing you that they've been stressed, they've been stressed as fuck. Because they don't want to, um, some of you has something to do professionally. Like they don't want to lose their job or it has something to do with like a person they're with. They don't, they don't know what to do with that. Um, it, it's it all happened so fast like that it really is how I'm hearing it like they this all happened so fast they didn't expect it to happen like this they didn't expect something to feel the way they feel for you or they didn't expect to still feel for some of you the way they feel for you uh, some of you uh, see because I can't tell which way this goes some of you you're the ones closing the door you're upright like moving forward moving on you're showing interest in other people you're ready to open your heart you're ready to start dating again maybe you already have maybe you're about to get married maybe you're about to get pregnant and say you start talking about kids they've caught wind of it and now they're like oh hell no nah. like it's one thing when you tell me that you're just interested in talking to people it's another thing when I find out that you're actually gonna go fucking marry someone like what the hell you know oh uh-uh what do you mean you want to start going on dates with people what do you mean like I, somebody got too comfortable you know, for the, and then for others of you, somebody got too comfortable thinking like they didn't expect something. And I honestly believe that it's the universe's way of saying, if you want something, like, don't waste your time. Like, especially when you know. Because, like, let's say somebody here, it was on their end and they were leaving the door open for you energetically, like, trying to send these little subtle hints instead of just telling you, you know what I mean? Um... They didn't expect that, like, I don't know. I, I don't think that they expected something would end so soon with you, meaning, like, fuck, I don't know. It could be anything. Let's say you hit it off with somebody in the fucking hospital. and You know what I'm saying? And you're in the hospital, okay? Let's say you're a patient or you go to a doctor or something, but then this doctor all of a sudden gets moved somewhere else and you're like, the fuck? I can't even have this, you know, well, that's what they're thinking. And you're just kind of like, well, whatever, because maybe you're used to, I don't know, letdowns. So you're like, well, that sucks. I mean, really, it hurts you, but you just don't really show it on the outside. And that's hurting them because they feel like, you know, or maybe you're showing it a little. Maybe you're letting someone know a little, like, oh, you know, you showed them a little hints, just like they're showing you little hints. But also, at the end of the day, is what it is. Shit happens, and it ain't your first fucking rodeo. I mean, how many times has shit just happened to you like that? At this point, you think the universe is just fucking laughing at you. They got jokes. You know what I mean? At this point, you're just like, I don't get too comfortable. I don't get too comfortable. I don't settle in. Like, come out, come out wherever you are and meet the young lady. You know how the munchkins and the Wizard of Oz are like all snuggled up in their little beds and stuff? This is going to be the extension. I'm going to put them together. And they're all covered up and shit. You don't even get that way. You probably don't even sleep. No, this is just an energetic thing. Some of you roll up in the covers. But some of you, energetically, this is how much you don't get comfortable with people. Or at least you don't let your guard all the way down. You don't even sleep with the covers on you. You don't even, you don't even sleep with the covers on you. You probably sleep with your fucking shoes on. No, I know y'all don't. Some of y'all sleep naked and you rolled up in the damn covers like a sushi roll. But others of you, energetically, this is how much you don't let your guard down. And because you can. Because you're no, you're no sooner you know, getting all snuggled in and you start hearing that first snore, you know, just like, and house fire. You know what I mean? I mean, not really. Not going one, but you, you get what I'm saying? So you, bitch, you better have your shoes on, your bra on, because you don't want to be running out of there and be knock yourself out from your tits. Well, that would be awful. In my case, that would happen because rocks and socks. You have to be prepared for anything. So it hurts. It really fucking hurts that something is coming to an end or it hurts, you know, but you're like, well, I can't say that I didn't expect it. And somebody hates that. They hate that. They hate that. They hate that they feel like you're not like almost more hurt over something. That's for others of you. I hope this is fucking making sense because there's there's like two different stories here. But let's sum it up and then maybe that'll make more sense. All in all, we have a person here who feels the door is closing. 
whether on your end or on their end. And it, this all happens so fast. I don't know what they mean by that, but that is 100% something that I'm being told like I have to say. It happened so fast that it was swiftly. They didn't expect it. They didn't expect you. They didn't expect to feel this way. They didn't expect to continue to feel this way. Maybe you maybe you plan on leaving someone and it just whoop, like that. And they're like, oh my God, wait, what? No, wait. And you, you're just doing it so fast. Whatever's happening, it's happening so fast. It's making someone's head spin. It's stressing them the fuck out. Talk about not sleeping. They're really not sleeping. And when they do sleep, they dream of you. They literally dream of you. You have literally dream walked. You ever heard of a dream walker? Mm, vampire type energy is uh, known for this. You just waltz up in their dreams, even if you're not meaning to, but you know, I mean, you happen to think about them before you go to bed. And so you just somehow, some way you just show up in their dream and they're like, oh my God, you know, they wake up and they're like, they, they can't let this go. Okay. Some of you, they're laying beside you, but they know it's about to end or they're in the same home. They know it's about to end, whatever it is. And it's like, please, you know, please don't go. For the majority of you, this is new. I'm talking new, new, new. Or like the two main stories I'm getting, I get them all here, but two main ones are, it's somebody new and they're gonna have to like, if they want you, you know, you'd be happy to stay and keep them around and see where this goes, but they're gonna have to make some changes or fight for this in some way, or let you know outright, I don't wanna lose you. And we could do whatever, even if that means, you know, the two of you have to work somewhere different so that y'all can actually communicate with each other and not have any issues. I don't know, okay? Or it's someone from the past who is like, you know, didn't really, didn't give a shit, 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 didn't now, oh, they gonna be giving a shit because the door's closing. And you know what happens when the door closes? Maybe they hear wedding bells on the other side of it because your ass is gonna get married. Or they hear, you know, a baby crying because your ass is gonna get pregnant or have a baby with somebody, you know, something like that. And so they're like, oh my God, no, that means it's like actually done. I don't want it to actually be done. I don't want to lose contact with Aquarius or Crosswatcher. That should have made sense then. Oh yeah, what was I looking up a song like Please Don't Go or like I Don't Want This to End? I don't want to lose contact. Well, I went to type in I Don't Want to Lose Contact and I typed in I Don't Want to Lose Control by Zoe. Zoe's? I don't know guys, I'm not really finding what I'm looking for, I guess. I'm not really finding what I'm looking for. And that could even be the undertone here. It's like, I hope you find what you're looking for. Or if, if you know, depending on where someone's at, it's like, I'm glad you found what you're looking for. And I hope you have a great life. Thank you. Thank you. Or I'm glad we met. Or I'm, you know, I don't know. It's like, you're not really putting up a fight. Or someone else isn't. Somebody here is absolutely not putting up a fight when it comes to something ending. It feels like you and this is precisely what is going to make someone be like no no this can't end this way this absolutely can't end this way this can't be no and and the reason that it's so intensely strong for a lot of you especially those of you where it's like this is this is some deep shit like past life type energy is because of how fast this was how quick it was and it's like it was just there there's no way that what they have with you is fake there's no way that what they have with you is surface level because y'all have never done anything for a lot of you if you're going to resonate with this it's so new you've never done anything you only met you met innocently you met through working together you could even been met through chaotic situations a chaotic time something chaotic could have been what brought the two of you into awareness of each other otherwise y'all would have never met and, and and nothing has ever happened nothing sexually nothing you may not have even hugged each other and it's like oh my god like that's how i know like i can't i can't because when they go home they think of you when they sleep they think of you they dream of you when they wake up they think of you You're like the first person on their mind how can this be it's not like the two of you were set up on a blind date it's not like the two of you met on a dating site or you know, there was like this initial, no, the way that y'all met was very organic. And it was like, you know what I mean? Some of you could have met in a cyborg, shit. <laughs> you 
you know what I mean? Or, or like, a, I don't know, maybe you felt like you were losing it, or they were, or something. <sighs> that was specific, wasn't it? Either way, it's like, no, I can't. So maybe you showed them just a tad bit of, damn, well, this sucks, like, I don't know. Or you showed them just a little bit of interest. I don't know what you did. But it was enough to be appropriate, whatever that means, maybe because of due to working together, professionalism, or somebody's with someone. So you ain't trying to fuck with that. And, you know, I mean, if they weren't with them, that'd be different. But if they are, I mean, you're not gonna, you're not, that's not you. It's not who you are. So you're like, well, but you showed them just enough, whatever you did. Like, yes, I returned the attraction. Yes, I returned, like, nothing. They may have even started thinking, like, trying to talk themselves out of it. Because at first they were like, why am I feeling these things for Aquarius or Crosswatcher? Why? Oh, they probably don't feel anything for me. It's best if I stay where I'm at. Or it's best if I don't even acknowledge it or tell them how I feel or show can I have any interest or leave a door open or even tell them it's open at all. Because, well, they're probably not interested in me because of what I do. Or they're not interested in me because of my age or my looks or my weight or my height. or And it's like, no, you're actually exactly what I'm interested in. But also... Shit never works out, and um, I'm just not gonna hold my breath, like honestly. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not gonna hold my breath, and uh, you're spoken for, or you're involved in your professionalism, and you've gotta obey the rules. So, bye, you know what I mean? Even though it sucks, it's like, God, just here we go, just stabbing the heart again with like, I see a push pin. Is that what it's called? Not a push pin. Oh my god. What's those things when you sew and, and, and you push your pins in them? They're like a push pin. Push pin holder? Push pin... My mom used to have a tomato looking one and you could, she had all kinds of needles in it from sewing. You know what I mean? I guess those aren't called push pins, right? Y'all know what the fuck I mean? She used to make outfits? Anyways, okay. I'm seeing that. That's that's you right now. Or somebody is like, oh, God, dagger to the heart. Here we go. Here we go. I felt it too. Yeah, I felt the exact same thing. But you know what? <laughs> Such is life. Such is life. Like, I am so used to this. You may have even said that to somebody. Like, well, that's life. Or <laughs> pleasure doing business. Or thank you. You know, and, it, and it, it's like translated to someone. It's like, they. what did I write down? The door is closing and they're panicking. <laughs> Uh, you may even said like fine fine okay that's fine okay or thank you or you know I, can't, I don't know I don't know but it, it's like no 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 this can't be this can't just go this way this can't just end this way this can't just no somebody's gonna try to open that garage door or keep it open or keep it from closing all the way but I'm telling you it's it's steadily descending I mean it's going down it's going they feel it like there's only a small window left before that gr so there's only a little bit of time left what does that mean do you know what I mean there's only a tad bit of time left some of you has to do with moving it's only a tad bit of time left before you move, and they're like, no, I've got to, I've got What is somebody going to try to do? I said this is going to be the extended, because we went over. Maybe we should do a bonus, too, unless I continue to extend this and just do it a little bit longer. Oh, my God. Let me see if I can get a vision. Give me a minute. Hold on. Okay, so my intuitive understanding of this is that uh, somebody doesn't want to waste, okay? <sighs> they don't want to waste um, this opportunity or an opportunity. They may even make an opportunity to see you or talk to you, whether see you in person or not, but to at least communicate with you. They're going to, they're going to find 
they're going to create, sorry, another opportunity to see you or communicate with you in some way. And, and here's what I'm seeing in a vision. I'm seeing a fruit that is actually just about to go bad. And it's like that window is closing in, right? There's only this short window until it just, it's not good anymore. You really can't eat that. And so someone's like, but I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste it. Um, and so I see somebody, I see a banana to be specific. <laughs> I don't know if this is like some sort of sexual uh, <laughs> innuendo here, but you know, there is that. So I do think this is a romantic connection or it has the potential to be that in the near future. However, uh, so I see somebody here in my vision and they are, I actually see a pregnant belly also. It's just like the side of a woman's belly. So whatever that means, confirmation or something to do with the near future. Um, I see this person peeling the banana and it's got a few bruises on it. It's questionable, but this person's intuition is like, no, it's still edible and I don't want to let it go to waste. I waited too long. Um, I didn't, you know, I just got these bananas. I didn't expect them to go bad this bad or sorry, bad this fast. This is the vision I'm getting right now, but they're like, okay, well, it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. The banana itself is like, well, it is what it is. You're either going to eat me or you're not. You're going to toss me out. So either way, I'm not going to get excited about it. Remember the whole idea I was saying about when somebody goes to sleep here, not even covering up, even if they do in real life, but energetically, not getting too comfortable, not settling in with anything, even if on the outside you appear that you do, but never actually because you know that anything can happen because you're just fucking used to it. Some of you have had some really fucking hard lives. And so this banana is like, well, eat me or don't, eat me or don't. Either way, you know, it's going to hurt. <laughs> it's going to hurt either way. So it's like, you know, almost a cynical way to look at things. But like, I totally get that. And you can't help that. I mean, you can't help that if that's just how life has fucking trained you. I also think it's a great way to protect yourself. So some of you could definitely be protecting yourself, you know. Um, so I see in my vision, this person taking the bite of the banana. And you're the banana in that case. And also the fact that I saw a random pregnant belly, which would signify like a new life. I do think this is a new connection for the majority, the vast majority of you. I do think it, I think someone's going to take the initiative and make some sort of approach, at least to be able to talk to you I don't want to say one last time but it's like they have to they want to know they want to know they like want to know what this is and I don't know in what way I don't know if they're gonna keep it still very subtle or if they'll amp it up just enough that you'll I don't know but I think whatever they give you you will reciprocate equally so if they're wanting to know if you outright are or possibly feel the same as them and that could change everything and they would they would make any changes they needed for you because they feel this just like soul bond with you. I mean it's different than anything they've ever felt. Then they would have to amp it up. Like if they want that they would have to come right out and tell you and I think you would reciprocate. But you're not going to go above that for them. You see what I'm saying? All these numbers calling that I don't know. They, they think I'm going to answer that shit. Where's that pen? It's not going to happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody wasn't planning on this. That's, that's like the biggest part of the message is somebody really didn't expect things to like you to, you to, cross their path or this to come and go so quickly like they didn't expect to <sighs> and they don't want to miss out or they don't want to lose you or they don't want to lose contact with you or something or they don't want you to not take you know, I don't know maybe they didn't expect your reaction maybe they they didn't expect it and maybe your reaction when someone's like hey basically saying the door's open that's their way of saying I like you but 
due to professional reasons or due to the fact that I'm with someone, whatever the reasoning is, I can't really tell you that. So like maybe you can just tell and it's like, okay, bye. You know what I mean? They didn't expect that. They thought that you would, <laughs> you know, take the opportunity. Like, like if they said, hey, here's my number, here's my personal number, hey, here's this, you know, hey, you can talk to me. You may be like, okay, that's great because you really want to. But then at the same time, you're like, nah, I'm not trying to ruin their job. I'm not trying to get on their nerves or annoy them. I'm not trying to ruin their marriage. So they got my number. If shit ends for them, then they can let me know. But aside from that, I'm not, I'm not trying to ruin anything for them. So it sucks, you know, it sucks for you too. Cause I think that you felt it, you feel it in return for someone. I hope this makes sense. Of course, this is not everybody's story and it's, there's a lot of stories here. It's not just new people. I sense people who are with someone. I think that they're going to have to like step it the fuck up if they want to keep you. If it's an ex, I think someone's going to have to step it the fuck up to get you back. If it's, um, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Some of you are the ones closing the door and you're moving forward with someone or you already have and, but, but it just keeps getting stronger and stronger and like, I don't know what you've said or done. But something is causing someone who just thought that they had all the time in the world to be like, no, wait, no, look where I was, or crosswatch, <laughs> you know? And so they better hurry the fuck up. Or someone's kind of let you know that they've got the door open for you or left it open for you, which means a lot because you, I mean, I feel like two people fell in love like, like that without even touching, without ever doing anything with each other, without ever anything. It was like instant which has not happened for either people before. They've had to date people, you know, intimacy, things like that. There's been no intimacy. It was just there. That's how you know. And so it's like, oh fuck, you know? And so this person, because they weren't, not only were they not expecting you, but they were, I mean, it would, it would change a lot in their life. It could potentially change their job. It could change their, if they're in a relationship, it could definitely change that. It would, it would change their whole fucking life, you know? It, it gonna change a lot. But then, but one thing they don't want to change now that they've encountered you is losing you. But they're hoping to like almost like buy time. I've seen somebody play like, what's that? Like the Wheel of Fortune, where you can buy a Val, buy a Val, Valerie for some Valerie, Valerie Val. I'm also hearing Valkyrie, Valkyrie. <laughs> buy a Val. Oh, this is so long extended. Buy a vow. What does it mean to buy a vow? In the game, contestants try to figure out words by guessing letters. If they want to guess consonants, they just guess. But if they want to guess a vowel, they have to buy a vowel. So there's a phrase from the show, I need to buy a vowel. Or I'd like to buy a vowel. Vowel. I vow. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Spirit's giving it to me in a different way. Vowel. I vow to you. Not vowel. I vow. I promise. Somebody's making like an energetic spiritual promise to someone here, whether it's you watching this video, Aquarius or Crosswatcher, it's somebody to you. If this does not resonate at all and you're like, this fucking message ain't even my story. It's somebody, I'm telling you, on the outside of you, it's happening to them right now. The person on your mind. This is somebody who doesn't want to let them go and they feel your person closing the door. Whew. Well, this is a long message, but I like it. I mean, it's been a while and you guys deserve it. It's been a long time. So, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, vow. It's like somebody is wanting to make a vow. Like, I promise you, I will be here for you. I promise you. Like, I won't let you down. I promise. Like, it's almost like somebody feels like it's their responsibility to protect someone here. Like, I want you to know I protect, but, but there's an underlying, I'm actually in love with you. Or I wouldn't protect you. Or I wouldn't care about your well-being, but I am in love with you. Or for some, I'm still in love with you. And I wouldn't let anyone harm you. If you ever need anyone, you can talk to me. You can reach out to me at any time. But what they really want to say is, also, I fell for you the moment that I met you. And I've thought about you every single day since then. And I was trying to be appropriate. I wasn't expecting to meet you. 
and I also wasn't expecting it to come and go so quickly and now that there's been this unexpected like type change within a career or within a family or within having to move or something's happening it hasn't yet it's about to it's like I feel like it's <laughs> there's no way that God or whoever this person believes in there's no way God or the universe or whoever brought us together to know each other when I feel this strongly about you to just have you ripped away from me like I almost feel this duty to take care of you to protect you but also I want to love you too I do love you I didn't even know I wanted to love you I wasn't even looking I wasn't fucking looking for you I wasn't even expecting it and just boom you know what I mean I thought it was just another person another day and then you walk in and I'm like it's like <laughs> You know how you have like a, a receptionist and they're like, ring, ring. Yes. That's the person in the office. I'm the receptionist. Um, hi, yeah, Mr. whatever, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, uh, we have your 9.30 appointment here. And should I send them back? Uh, sure. Give me about five minutes and I'll be ready. Okay, thank you. You can take a seat in the waiting room. He'll be right with you. Couple minutes passed. Okay. So and so, 9.30 appointment. You can go back now. He's ready for you. And he's just thinking it's going to be a regular old fucking day. Old regular fucking ass day. Same shit, different day. SSDD. And your ass walks in and they're like, he, she, whoever the doctor is, is like, <gasps> Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking got me looking sweaty and shit today. Got me coming in here, not even giving a shit. Didn't even wear my cologne. Didn't even wear my good jewelry. Wore my fucking ugly ass clothes today. <laughs> wore my just walking shoes. Hair's all fucked up. Haven't even got my hair cut in a while. <laughs> so like, I don't know. This doesn't have to be anybody's exact example, but you see what I'm saying? Somebody was not fucking prepared because they were just expecting it to be just a normal ass day when they encountered you. And it's like, Ah oh, shit. <laughs> and then ever since then, I can't get over this ever fucking since that day. However long ago it was. Could have just been a month. I'm telling you, it's like quick, boom. For the majority of you. And it's like, I can't not think about you. It's been every single day, all day. You stay on my mind. I'm constantly thinking about you. I've even dreamt of you. Not to repeat myself a million times, but this is how intense it is. Because there's been nothing but either a professional interaction or, you know, like professional, that's it, for some of you. Others, it's an ex, you know, or it's a current person that don't want to let go. But this is something new for a lot of you. And they're like, oh my God, like I really didn't want. And then something happens where they're like, I don't want it to end. not been long enough I haven't had long enough with you that's the message today all right guys love you so much thank you for being here with me and I'll talk to you later bye